Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how the category function works on Outlook for Mac. Before we get started with that, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. Lastly, we strongly encourage any specific video topic ideas that you guys might have. So if you have any, feel free to put those in the comments below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so before we show you guys the specifics, it's worth noting that I am on the legacy version of Outlook for Mac. Uh, there's a new version, which has kind of a, a cleaner user interface, but a lot less features. And if you're on that version, you can simply hit help in the top uh, tab here, and there'll be a button called revert to legacy Outlook. So if you wanna do that, I would recommend it. And at that point, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my settings in the Outlook tab, and we're gonna look at the accounts. The first thing that's important to note is that categories as a feature is not supported on IMAP accounts. As we can see, I currently have an outlook.com account configured in here. Uh, if you're on Gmail or another IMAP account, again, the categories feature is not gonna be available to you. So next up, if I go back into settings here and I click on categories, if you only have IMAP configured, this categories button in your Outlook settings actually won't even be there at all. So we figured that was worth addressing as that could be a part of the problem. Anyways, I'll click into categories and from here, I'm able to hit this plus button to create a category. So I might create a category name. Let's do one for work. Let's do another one for personal. All right, so with my new categories selected, I'll go ahead and X out of this. All right, so I just sent myself a test email here and I can basically take this and click on the categorize button. And if I wanna, categorize this as work, I can do exactly that. And a useful way to potentially use this feature would be to go through and tag everything as its appropriate category as it comes in. And then if I kind of want to go back through those emails, I can uh, filter here by the categories. So hope that's helpful. Hope that makes sense. If you guys have any questions, drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in purchasing Office or other Microsoft software at a great price, Check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.